I was recording this time. I went through all this just a few minutes ago and it didn't record a blooming thing. Alright, so here we are. Now, wake this up again. Wake that up. Okay, great. And then, okay. So, today is um, 30 March. 30 March uh, 2019, okay. Showing you both phones, prove the date, that sort of thing. Okay. 2019, 30 March, Saturday. Okay, so now, this is about the uh, M. Sanyo M's 1660. Here are my pictures as I made a video about this yesterday. I haven't uploaded it yet. I will when I get time. Alright, so here's the front of this, okay? And then here's the uh, end. It's got a DC 9 volt in, okay? Here's the back. Just show you the back real quick, just so you can see that's what it is, okay? And then there's the uh, this end here. It's got a Earphone and microphone jack. Okay, no remotes, just microphone. And then it's got a, you know, take six AA batteries in the bottom. Okay. And this is, you know, as I got it, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty grungy, dirty. It's just got a, a volume control on the top, no tone, no nothing, just AM, FM tape selector button. Your standard buttons, no special features other than auto stop. Okay. These screws are laid out in the back in the wrong way. This is correct. This longer screw goes over here on this side, and then these two short screws go on the bottom here and here to remove the back cover. Actually, the front comes off. Okay. And here's the front off. Okay. Uh, just let let's see what it looks like on the inside. It, and then here's this side, the radio side. Okay. And then uh, just another picture. All right. I'm zoom in. I think I put a flash on this. Rather clean tape deck, all right. And then um, this is the screws where the screws go. These four here came out of the hold the tape deck in. These two little short ones hold the uh, FM indicator thing in, and then these are the four screws that came out the back, all right. And here's just a view of, of this side here. It takes uh, this motor. Wait, did I zoom? I, you know, I'm doing good. I went through all these pictures here and didn't zoom in, so let me zoom in. And go back to the beginning. I got what two minutes on this. Let's see, I'm I'm old. I'm forgetful. Let me just kill this. All right. Go back to the end. Start over. Race through it. Open with. This will be a blooper, but you'll maybe enjoy it. Okay. That's the front. That's the nine volt. That's the back. Wait. Let me show you the back. Just because I like showing the back of these things. So there is the model number. M one six six zero. Okay. And there's that. Here's this. There's the bottom. There's the top. It's, you know, standard features, volume control, AM, FM tape, that's it. And then there's the, uh, that's it. It's rather grungy looking, okay. Here's the back again. The screws, uh, the, the long one goes here. The other long one, damn it. The other long one goes in this hole here and the two short ones go in the bottom. There and there, okay. So, and then the front comes off the the, yeah, the front comes off, uh, and then again, here is just a, uh, these belts were old, it doesn't look like they are, but they are, okay, so I already changed them both, okay, this is a good shot of your recording bar switch right there smack dab in the center, okay, I put stuff through it, okay, so there's that, again, another picture, did I zoom in? Yeah, I zoomed in, okay. Then there's the screws that came out. There's one short screw in the upper corner for the tape deck. This the, and the other three are the same. And these two little ones are for the FM indicator bar that comes out. So you have to take that out to remove the deck to get through the other two screws. This is the old, uh, oh, that's why I was trying to show the motor. Okay, everybody needs part numbers for these motors. So there it is. Just pause the video and take a snapshot. There you go. All right. Uh, that's the inside. The belts are okay. This is the old belt that I took out, and it was um, what 13 centimeters. You figure out math wise, you just look at the picture. Here is the old uh, counter belt, it was uh, uh, 74 inches or 74 cent, whatever you, you can read the thing, can't you? All right, and this is um, this is the belt I put in, which is about four and three quarters or about 12 centimeters. Okay, so. And then here I sprayed uh, with my, you know, contact cleaner stuff. 
I sprayed the uh, right in there, right in there underneath the switch and sprayed it down and then blew it out with some compressed air and got that working. Then I cleaned it. When I cleaned it I used you know denatured alcohol, air, and then of course this stuff here with the you know the contact cleaner with lubricant. Okay, so and I cleaned you know the heads and you can see the you know the dirtiness right here on the end of that Q-tip. Great. Moving along. Now this had a power issue, okay, the uh, battery compartment had a bad wire. This one went on one end and this end here was, well, it's hard to see, but it was corroded, all the wire was corroded all the way down the wire, all the way to, oh, wait a minute, come on, all the way to the other end, okay, come out. Anyway, it's all corroded, both ends, okay, so no power was going to get from the, uh, this, uh, bad, this, dark colored spring which is corroded but I got it I cleaned it up okay and I put a new wire on there and got it to work on batteries all right and then of course here's just uh and you can't tell this but this has got well anyway I'm just showing the wires and such here's here it is with new belt I didn't I described it anyway there it is and then here it back to back to working uh, the little uh, record battery indicator does not function I don't care I don't need it, but you know it does work. All right, uh, and then uh, here is a okay. This is just a comparison picture because I still have this one for sale. Uh, this is a M one seven six zero. Okay, F one M one seven six zero F. All right, and then there's the back of it, and I'm just trying to show the back of the. I don't know if you can see this, but there, well, you can't see that, it's too fuzzy. All right, well, here's the back of them, all right, and then, uh, was that it? That, that was it, so that's some other radio. Okay, so, um, that's those two right there, and then going back, just, you know, I'm not trying to make this, well, since I flubbed up in the beginning of this video, it's just going to be that, it's going to be flubbed up and a little extra long, but, so you can see the, ta the tape counter is on 51, okay, well, this definitely works now. So let me, without further ado, like I did before, take this thing off of the camp, uh, tripod here, okay. Let's go handheld, all right, there's a little point here. Okay, so here it is, handheld, all right, seven minutes. I'll try to keep this under 10, how about, all right, so if we, okay, so... I just got it between stations because I didn't want to be selling any music, so uh, if I... That's on FM and I could have the antenna extended all the way out. I mean, well here, let me just do that. Here, see. The antenna, you know, comes all the way out and we can, anyway, play with that all day long. I'm not here to do that. And then of course you could uh, put it on AM. Alright. Welcome back. We told you... We Join. We try to make these cases really personal so you understand. And works a lot better than that. I could take a, a tape here. Let's see here. Yeah, that flops out really hard. Okay. Um, got some foreigner, right? Oh, this side. Okay. So urgent. All right. So. Okay. So that works like that. And then, um, let's see, then what I want to do is I want to take this out, all right, check that out. Put in my famous, well recorded over many times tape, okay. And uh, where are we? Uh, this side is A, okay, so put in A side, all right. Drop that in, okay. Hit record. Check the, uh, check the thing. And then, of course, I want to... Go down here and pull on this, all right, and voila, it stopped. So if you pull out your favorite little multi-voltage, multi-thing deal, right, voila, it runs on batteries. Okay, so now we're recording on batteries, and we started the tape counter at, we didn't start, well, okay. So we're talking here, so this is what, what day is today again? It's, uh. Saturday, March 30th, 2019, okay, uh, at whatever time in the morning, about noontime, 1221, okay, 
So, and this is a Sanyo M1660, uh, so I want to hit stop, okay, hit uh, rewind, okay, watch the tape counter, that was too far, let's uh, fast forward it just a little bit, great, that's good, hit play. And pull on this, alright, voila, it runs on batteries, okay, so now we're recording on batteries and we started the tape counter at... We didn't start well. So we're talking here. So this is what? What day is today again? Is uh, Saturday, March 30th, 2019. Okay. Uh, at whatever time in the morning, about noon time, 1221. Okay. So and this is a Sanyo M1660. Uh, uh, so I want to hit stop. And uh, still rolling along. So it's been 11 minutes. Well, okay. So. All right, and then just briefly, a few seconds worth, okay. I'll just get out this other one here, which I happen to have handy, and let you see it together. Just, there's a wide view shot, okay. And then, of course, this has got batteries in it, too. We're not going to go all through that, so you're so... Uh, what, stop is the open button, and then, of course, we're throwing the same tape we played a few seconds of before. Hit play. Okay, so that obviously sounds a little bit better. Of course, it's a better machine. Going back to this one here and dropping this in. Let's see here. Uh, get that in there. Hit play. So it does work. It does record. The radio plays. The radio plays here. Uh, there's that. There's that. Okay. I had fun. This is for sale. That's for sale. Okay, so hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I got to go to the next project, which is a really rare radio. Thanks for watching. Good day. Bye-bye.